the Haitian women's movement. Three women, Marion Merlet, Magali Mersenin, and Annie Marie Carolan, had been working to create change for women in Haiti. All three women derive from a long tradition of women's activism that goes as far back as 1820 in Haiti. In 1972, the National Peasants Movement of the Papai was led by the voodoo priestesses consisting of 20,000 women and 10,000 youth who assisted in the launching of the Haitian Revolution against the French. Many of them also fought in the battle that was the first successful slave revolt in history. During the U.S. military occupation of Haiti in 1930, it was the peasant women, mostly farmers and agricultural workers, who rebelled against the occupation, which was committing multiple human rights violations and killing thousands of Haitians. The women engaged in spy tactics and guerrilla warfare that helped expel the U.S. from the country. The U.S. occupation left unpopular policies, racial segregation, and most Haitians living in poverty. Violence against women and girls increased and was often taken lightly, leaving complaints uninvestigated with no accountability for the men involved. The activism that women were engaged in was not aired on the media, nor are countless other incidents involving women. The women's movement objectives and goals included democracy, economic equity, education, employment, and economics um, for the benefit of social advancement. They gained full political rights, including the right to vote by 1950. Although peasant women were not included and remained socially disenfranchised without access to the same political rights as the elite class of Haitian feminists. The dictator, François Duvalier, who ruled from 1957 to 1971, denied women their rights, which frustrated the wealthy women who could no longer enjoy their privileges or achievements. His government arrested, tortured, raped, and assassinated many women who spoke up against his regime. The anti-dictator movement merged with the feminist movement during the 1970s and 1980s. The contemporary women's movement was created in Haiti due to the incidents of rape and violence against countless homeless women and girls. These incidents often remained unreported. Before 2005, rape and sexual assaults were considered crimes of passion. Feminist activist Magali Marcelin founded Kai Fum, an organization and shelter that fights for women's rights. She was one of the three beloved feminist activists that perished in the January 12, 2010 earthquake in Haiti. Magali is one of the many Haitian women whose stories remain untold. She was raised by her grandmother, who was an entrepreneur owning a hotel and a restaurant. She was able to discern from a young age, since 14, that social justice comes from action and political change and not merely empty hopes and prayers. She did not want to continue down the same path as most Haitian women. She found them to be severely oppressed. She participated in theater and anti-dictator movements. She was expelled by Duvalier when she was 18 and lived in Venezuela from 1981 to 1987. She was at the front line of the contemporary women's movement in Haiti that began in the 80s. She accompanied victims of violence and advocated for them in, in court teaching Haitian women their rights while also educating them along the way. Magali participated in an international tribunal against violence against women in Haiti, which drew a large crowds of Haitians from all over the country. Magali succeeded in criminalize, criminalizing violence against women alongside feminist activist Miriam Melet, founded Kai Fum, an organization and shelter that fights for women's rights. Miriam 
bought the vagina monologues to Haiti in 2005. Miriam also created V-Day safe houses in Haiti, sorority safe houses, which houses women and victims of domestic violence, providing access to medical care, legal and psychological assistance to the women. Miriam was also killed during the earthquake of 2010 and organized organizations like Femme Decide, Women Decide, are going to work to continue her work. Anne-Marie Coelon was a top advisor to Haiti's Ministry to Gender and Rights of Women and the founder of Solidarité from Haitien, which means Haitian Women's Sol Solidarity, also passed away on the day of the earthquake. She helped to change the crime of passion law that permitted the rape and abuse of workers that would improve women's rights in marriages since certain men considered their wives to be children and treated them as such. She also founded the Center de Recherche et de Action pour le Développement, which means the Center for Research and Action for Development, for training and education. She died at the age of 53. The Ministry of Women's Affairs is a women's agency within the Haitian government is lacking the resources it needs to fight for women's rights efficiently. It is important to note that peasant Haitian women have more rights than their westernized elite Haitian women do to their proximity to westernized culture. Peasant Haitian women have fewer restrictions imposed on them due to their African matriarchal systems and the Haitian voodoo religion that centers them. Women priests are equal to the males in these societies. Supporting the women of this country is crucial to the success of the Haitian people. Female leadership has always had a positive impact on Haiti. Therefore, Miriam Millet, Magali Messelin, and Anne-Marie Coelan, stories must be told and their legacies must live on. Thank you.